Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam Hewitt. For those of you that do not know, I'm doing a small series at the moment called Haunted Dorset, which is why I've got yet another bit of paper in front of my face. This one I actually looked up a few days ago, so I'm going to be reading mostly from that. I'm not being rude. It's just I have a terrible memory. The place that I'm looking at today is called Knowlton Church. I, for one, have actually been to this place and have seen one of the things on this list that happens. There's about three in total that I think I've got on it. No, four. I've got four things that people have seen at this place. Not that that really matters. Uh, although each of them are really interesting. That's why I've, it's, it's like they've each got their own little story as to how they got there. Except for one, and that's the one that I've actually seen. Anyway, so the church itself was built in the 12th century, which was when, in England, they were trying to transform the country into... Um, I don't know, so like a predominantly Christian faith country. And so it's they went and built this church in the middle of a pagan circle, broke the circle down and used it as material in order to build the church. You can understand that quite a few people weren't very happy about that. The idea is that they were trying to rid the world well, rid the country of other faiths so that everyone would go, This is the um religion that you're supposed to be going to. You know, this is, if you want to live in this country, you have to be Christian, that kind of thing. That's what it was, that's what they did back then. Uh, now, it's, we're a lot more accepting of other cultures, and yeah, so it's kind of crazy. So, uh, not crazy, that's not what I meant. It's better now than it was then, but it's crazy to think that that is the way that things used to be done. Going on to things that people have actually seen, uh, it's said that there's a phantom horse and rider that go right through the church. When I say through the church, I don't mean like through the church grounds or anything. I'm talking right through one wall and out the other. Almost like diagonally through it, I think they said, but it's the only reason that that would happen, and I've said this in the past, is that it's everything plays like like a tape. It tends to be imprinted on the stones of the place as memory, almost. The reason that the horse and rider is able to go through the church is because the blueprint of the place, when this horse and rider passed through was that um, they wouldn't have been able well it's that the church wouldn't have been there they'd have been able to just go straight through it and not know that there was a church there whatsoever because it's not going to be around for another don't know how many years they didn't have a church there when this guy went through and it's kind of it, yeah so it's been cited on more than several occasions that this horse and rider cuts right through the church personally i would really love to see that happen i really want to see a horse and rider as a spirit you know it's uh, I, I just like that thought it is a really good one now one thing that i've actually seen happen in this church upon approaching the church it's just sat in the middle of this field where obviously the pagan circle was but uh the church itself has the main body of the hall of this church, and you've got like a little bit of a tower. The tower has sort of two windows. Two windows remaining. You've got one on the ground floor and then one just above it. It's said, well, it was said that uh, you can see a face in this window. Now, I didn't actually know that until after I saw the face. So I went and saw this. It wasn't quite like a human looking a whole form face as you can see in mine now. It was just a lot more faded and, well, almost misty really <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it it's ghostly <laughs> which is the whole point but as so I saw this face and said oh hey there's someone up there so I thought there were stairs on the inside the whole thing is just a shelf you've got the walls and nothing else you just don't even have a roof above your head because it's fallen through just this mysterious face that I saw and then someone and said well you know that you can actually see that face as people have been reported to so sort of see this face and you know sort of experience other things beside that is we didn't stay much longer after i saw that face i don't think because people were uh, people i were with i were with i was with people i was with didn't really uh like that thought but that said there were other things than us there but hey that's what i'm here to find out now right anyway so um yeah i am actually recording i <laughs> double check that for a moment it's just talking to a camera that isn't even recording that'd be brilliant i've done that before i mean i haven't i've never done that before right so the next thing is that that there is said to be a there's like a full body spirit outside of the church and when i say outside the church i mean literally just outside the door of the church 
Now, the reason to get this uh, full body spirit is because, well, it, it's a nun. So it's a weep, it's known as the weeping nun because it's sort of like weeping because of sins, sort of just praying, uh, just sat by the door praying at night. Now, given that sort of spirits are said to be people that um, met an untimely end, it's interesting to think that this nun was sort of like praying for her sins, for something that she's done, but then so sort of someone pretty much said, well, answered that with a, uh, you've done too many wrongs and killed her. Probably. I mean, it's it's said, it's like one of the theories about ghosts or spirits or whatever you want to call them. But that one, I think, ties in with why she is there. That, be it that she stole or... I don't know, it's like if they're nuns, they're actually not allowed to have relationships or anything. So if they were to have the beginnings of a relationship, there would be uh, punishments for that, I imagine. Even if it is that she gets killed. Right, so there was actually uh, an investigation crew. This is one that I forgot about. Yeah, so there was an investigation team that went there so like to see if there are any spirits, just like check up on the stories, really. And these people went and said that they not only saw the face in the window, the weeping nun, they knew about the pagan circle being broken and am I missing anything? Face, weeping nun, and they also saw the phantom rider as well. But after all that, they said that it got really, really foggy. Like the entire place, they couldn't see. It's, uh, they couldn't see outside of the church whatsoever. And it's, they said that it was probably just like atmospheric stuff. Right up until a point where they started hearing voices. But they couldn't tell where the voices were coming from. It's like loads and loads of ethereal voices just around them. I don't think I've heard of anything like that at all. It kind of sounds sounds like something right out of a Scooby-Doo novel or a Scooby-Doo episode even. You know, it's, it just seems unrealistic. You know, you're sort of looking around just hearing voices, it's foggy and the only th people that you can see are the people around you and they're not talking, you know. As they apparently called out and no one replied, it was just like carrying on with these voices. They couldn't pin down where it was. No one running around, no footsteps or anything. It was just these voices, and then at the end of the night, it stops. Just like I don't know what timing or anything happened with this. Pretty much where they had all these voices around them and everything, they reckoned that it was people not inside of the church, but like people that would have been like on the outside of the original pagan circle, meaning that echoes of the old faith could still be there on that site. Now that. That is why I do this, because I get to find out things like this, even if it's not real. I mean, that's a damn good story. As I'm enjoying this so much that that is only number three. I have nine more to go. So I've got nine more to go, and I am seriously enjoying this. I haven't looked any further down the list than that. I'm literally looking through the list as you find out. It's maybe like one, two days beforehand, I read... Uh, up on these things and it is crazy. Anyway, uh, I will catch you guys next time with the mysterious number four which neither of us know about. Catch you guys next time.